Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tech and Tweaks here, back again with another video. Today we're going to have to discuss some things, some realities that are going to be happening. So YouTube has just added this new advertising policy, this new stupid rule that basically bans jailbreaking. Um, I can't say whether or not I'm going to still do jailbreak videos. I want to but I also need to be able to make some money from my videos. So if that requires me to possibly just do some sponsorships for jailbreak videos or find other means for doing jailbreak videos, I hope that they don't completely suppress them so that nobody sees them. I know a couple other channels have been hit already and their channels are basically ruined now because they cannot monetize any of their videos and they can also get some strikes against their account. So I may be looking into other websites or other platforms that allow free speech, pretty much, since it's censorship towards the jailbreak community. Jailbreaking is 100% legal, so I'm not sure why they are trying to ban it. But I may have to shift my focus on this channel to maybe top 5 apps or something else that is tech or iOS related. Or if you guys have any suggestions, you can go ahead and put them down in the comment section below. But I also just got this email from YouTube that says that my join button pretty much is now available so I can go ahead and activate memberships and you guys can join. I will maybe set up a couple different tiered options uh, for some wallpapers or developer certificates or something but it is all really just kind of dependent on how serious YouTube takes this new jailbreaking policy. If I can't even make a jailbreak video without getting a strike against the channel, then I will be unable to make jailbreaking videos at all. However, if they just demonetize my video, but I can still do jailbreaking videos, then I will continue to do them and maybe just try to get sponsorships or if you guys could go ahead and hit the join button to support me. Anyways guys, if I do find another platform that we can migrate to, I will let you guys know. I appreciate all the support that you guys have given me this past year. This channel has grown extremely successfully. I'm sorry to bring this bad news to you, but with that being said, I'm going to show you guys five more awesome tweaks that you can put on your jailbroken device. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so we're gonna just start off with the best tweak first. That one is the one that we've all been waiting for. It is called a bird poop. Basically, what it allows you to do is go ahead and cheat on the games that you play with Game Pigeon. So if we go ahead and start, um, let's do a sea battle. You can go ahead and send it. What it allow you to do is pretty much allow you to cheat. So I just sent this one to my wife. So if we take a look, I can go ahead and start it, set up my ships. These are all her ships now, so if I want to, I can just go ahead and annihilate every single one of her ships. And she has no idea that I'm cheating unless you make it super obvious and you just completely destroy every single ship on the first game. But what you can do is just get a couple hits in and then purposely miss and send the game back to her and she has no idea that I'm sitting there with a way better radar than she will ever have on her game. So if we jump into the settings of this tweet, you can see there's a couple games that are currently supported. I'm sure the developer is planning on adding support for all or most of the games, but right now these are the games that are supported. So if we jump into each individual settings, you can go ahead for archery example. You can remove the timer and remove the wind. You can just enable things for the specific games, see enemy ships, that's what we were using. 
But anyways, guys, this one is called a bird poop. All right, this next tweak I have for you is called a Perio, and basically what it is is it's just a little lock screen shortcut, as you can see right there. Just put little shortcuts that you can go ahead and tap on, and it will open up into whatever application you have specified. So if we go into a Perio, this is 100% free, so you can go ahead and select whatever apps that you want to be on the lock screen. You can also swap it to make it vertically. But anyways, guys, that one's called Aperio. Super simple, fun, free tweak. The next tweak I have is called Half iPad, and this one has a bunch of different customization, kind of gives your iPhone iPad-like features. So if we just scroll over and we can see there's just way too many settings to go over in this video. But a couple of the ones that I like to enable is the iPad multitasking. You can go ahead and do the split view. You can also get the iPad dock. You can do picture in picture. You can go ahead and tap the apply button and it will go ahead and apply the modifications. But anyways, guys, this one is a quick tweak called half iPad. Go ahead and check it out. This next tweak I have for you is called Riva UI. And basically it's just a snowboard extension. It just kind of reorganizes the UI theme. So for example, as you can see, and there is a bunch of different UI elements that are all themed differently. So if we jump over to the phone, you can see that the phone is kind of themed. The icons are all a little different. This theme is system wide. As you can see, there's a bunch of little arrows right here. You scroll to the top, arrow, microphone's different. The toggles are a little different. It just makes your device feel a little bit more modern with the different icons that are in place but you will need two tweaks for that. You will need Snowboard to use the theming engine. That is the actual tweak that enables theming on your device. And the actual UI is called Riva. And if you guys were wondering what icons I'm using, it's A, B, Z, Z, Dark. They are just kind of spray painted icons. I've used them in a couple videos. But anyways, guys, if you guys are looking for a cool new UI, then go ahead and check out Riva. And this last tweak I have for you guys is called Rocket for Instagram. Uh, I don't really use Instagram a lot, a lot, but this would be extremely useful. If you do use Instagram, it basically gives you a whole, basically gives you a whole list of features that you can't normally do with Instagram, such as saving videos from Instagram TV or muting and unmuting stories. It just basically is the phantom for Snapchat. Basically just a simple modification for Instagram to give you a few more features that the average person doesn't have. Like I said, I've used it in the past before, but I don't use Instagram a whole lot, so I have uninstalled it, but it is still a great tweak. I figured you guys should be aware of it. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Hopefully this is not the end. I am trying to get in contact with a couple bigger YouTubers to see if we can go ahead and get maybe a pass for jailbreaking or get in contact with somebody at YouTube so that our community doesn't get completely destroyed. I really don't want jailbreaking to die. I cannot have a stock iOS iPhone for a long period of time. I have to jailbreak it because I like all the customizations and the different tweaks that you can do. All right, guys, if you guys like the video, don't forget to feed that YouTube algorithm those like buttons. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.